What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Curry, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Now, the sneakers that we're talking about today are really special because not only do they speak to the nerd in me, but they also speak to the sneaker enthusiast in me. Without further ado, let's get straight into them. Today, we're talking about Paul George's line, once again, the PG3. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Paul George 3 NASA. So I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail about this shoe, let you guys know where they come from and kind of the history behind them. Now, as I stated before, remember Paul George is from Palmdale, California. Now, one thing about Palmdale that a lot of people really don't know is that NASA houses a facility out there that does advanced operations in flight research. It's called the Armstrong Center. And in this research center, they work on some amazing projects that actually end up going into space. So there's a lot of astronauts that like to visit there, they like to learn, they can train, they can see what's kind of in development, things of that nature. Paul George actually went to the NASA facility to speak to them in collaboration with Nike for this particular sneaker. Paul George wanted to do something that was for his hometown and something that was kind of special to him as well. So just like the nerd in me that's into video games and space, Paul George apparently is also into video games and space as we've seen with the PlayStation models of his sneaker and now with the NASA variation of his sneaker as well. Between Paul George and Kyrie, I really don't know who's having a better run and colorways on their newest models right now, but they're about neck and neck, I'll tell you that. Now, starting with the upper of the shoe, obviously you notice that this sneaker is mainly orange in color, and a lot of people wanna know why is it orange? The reason that these sneakers are orange is not just by happenstance, it's actually made to mimic the ACES suit. A-C-E-S stands for Advanced Crew Escape Suit. It's actually a space suit that astronauts wear when they're ascending or descending from orbit on a rocket launch. You're gonna see a lot of those little color variations that have to do with various pieces of the suit in the sneaker as well. So of course, not only is it orange, but let's talk about the technology a little bit in the sneaker. This sneaker was actually made by its designers to be a lot lighter. So this is actually, I believe, a full ounce lighter than the previous Paul George model with this nice breathable mesh material here going on the lateral and medial portions of the shoe. And you have that nice hint of blue right here on the lateral side that holds the laces. And on the medial side, you have red in that same spot as well. Now there's like this little play or fast forward button here, rewind button, I'm not sure what that's there for but if you guys know what it's there for, by all means, tell me, because I would love to know. Moving up from the upper, of course, you have this really soft, plush silver material. This is actually made to look like astronaut suits or space suits as well. You got that really nice remove before flight keychain that you see on bomber jackets, like MA1 jackets, things of that nature. But on the flip side of that tag, you see 661, which is the area code for Palmdale, 1990, which is Paul George's birth year, and 405, which is the Oklahoma City area code. All numbers that naturally are very important to Paul George right now. Going back to the lateral side of the shoe, you get this really nice big swoosh here, right here on the midsole. You also get this really nice silver midsole here, really cool, almost looks like the surface of the moon, sort of, it's really nice. Moving down from the midsole, you also see 93552. That is the Palmdale, California zip code where Paul George, of course, is from. And we're gonna see that a couple of places on the shoe as well. On the top of the shoe, you get this really nice American flag patch, almost looks like a patch. I actually thought that it was detachable, but it's not. But you get this nice American flag patch. You're gonna see a lot of patches here on the sneaker. That's kind of made to look like the various patches, flight mission patches that are on spacesuits as well. On the left shoe here, you get the Paul George emblem in that navy blue and red. I'm not gonna lie, I actually tried to press it thinking it would light up. It did not light up. Moving around to the heel of the shoe, you're gonna get this really nice NASA emblem. This is an official collaboration between NASA and Nike, very nice. And on the right shoe, you're gonna get a mission patch. Now, what I thought at first was that everybody got the same mission patch but I realized that everybody doesn't. So be sure to look on your sneakers if you get a pair of these to see which Apollo patch you get. I happen to get Apollo 12, but I've seen other people that got other sizes get Apollo 13, Apollo 14. So there's really no telling what patch you might get on the back of your sneaker. It looks like there's all different patches. Speaking of stitching, what I really like about this heel portion here where the patch is, is this zigzag stitching. It almost looks like it's stitched on to the shoe with that mission patch, almost like the way that they do it on space suits. They kind of patch them on there. Right above that mission, patch, you also get your nice Paul George branding one more time. You also get that same branding on the back of the left shoe as well. Now, as you guys know, I'm a sucker for the details and Nike basketball sneakers always tell these amazing stories. This sneaker tells an incredible story. So on the bottom of the midsole, you see this inscription that wraps around the back of the heel. Don't tell me the sky's the limit when there are footprints on the moon. 
Now that's an incredible message and I believe that the silver here is made to look like the moon's surface and this is inscribed in the moon's surface. Furthermore, let's take it to the outsole of the shoe where there's really some good details. The designer of the sneaker said that the outsole is made to look like craters on the moon, on the moon's surface. And within the craters, there are certain Easter eggs that have something to do with Paul George's life or his career from past until now. Almost as if these things are stamped into the legacy, almost like they'd be stamped into the moon's surface. Almost like his footprints on the moon if you will. Now you gotta look really, really close because they're inside of the little circles here. But for instance, you see 2010 right here. That's the year that Paul George was drafted. You see the number 13 right here. Of course, PG-13, his current number. Right here, you see 661. Again, that's that Palmdale area code. Right here, you see 317, Indianapolis, Indiana. Of course, where we met Paul George, Indiana Pacers. 5290 or May 2nd, 90. That's his birthday. 405, once again, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma area code. 24, Paul George's old number when he was playing with the Pacers. 93552, yet again, that Palmdale zip code. And this might be one of my favorite ones. 5 Five, nine. This is the area code for Fresno, California. Remember, Paul George went to Fresno State University of California. Last but not least, hope you guys can see that, but you get the NASA emblem in that insole on the heel as well. All in all, to me, this shoe not only is dope, but it's another representation of how Nike basketball is taking it to the edge with new technology and with storytelling woven throughout the entire shoe, even down to the smallest details. Now it's time for you to sound off in the comments. Are you planning on picking up a pair of these new Paul George 3s, the NASA version? Personally, like I said, these were a must have for me. I live here in Huntsville, Alabama, which also has a huge NASA presence. Huntsville is the home of Space Camp. So everybody from around the country and around the world comes to Huntsville every summer to come and attend Space Camp here at the NASA Space and Rocket Center. We also have the Marshall Space Flight Center out here on our Army base that does some amazing things as well with NASA. NASA is deeply entrenched in the city where I live in. They actually call this city the Rocket City, and NASA is the reason for that. So kudos to Nike. Shout out to Paul George for really reaching back and doing this amazing sneaker, reaching back to his roots, and doing something that actually ends up being really dope for the city that I live in as well. Sound off down below. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on these, and let me know if you plan on copping these when they come out. While you're down there, there's a little red button right down there that says subscribe. Go ahead and click that button and come and become a part of the Sneaker Fetish family. We would love to have you here just to make sure that you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these. As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Taking a look at these with me for a couple of minutes, unboxing them with me. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Nike and Paul George 3 NASA edition. And until next time, I'm out.